Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Randy's Rant. He- <laughs> what? What the fuck is your problem, bro? What? What's your problem? No, I don't have a problem. I think it's a great, a great entrance. I'm like that. You're, you're. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I, I got it together that I like switching it up every once in a while. It's not my fault. All right, that's cool, man. That's cool, man. That's cool. The fuck was that? What? Did you have an itch or something? Hold on. Why the fuck do you have your hoodie on? Why not? Why not have a hoodie on? We're outside. Green screen. Okay, I'll give, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll give it to you. Oh, jeez, you. you're so slow today. Really? You, 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 fuck you, bro. I am. <sighs> fuck you, bro. <laughs> All right, what's up? What's new, Randy? What's new with you? How's uh, the... the thing? I want to murder you. Mm. I want to bury you in that hill. That's yeah. what I want to do. I don't and then think, let the I cockroaches, don't, I don't let the think, worms eat you from your asshole in. I don't think you should be saying that after they found the remains of them. That one oh, guy no. who killed that one girl. What's it called? Gabby Pertino. Petito? Patino? Patino? P- Petito? Patina? Pertin? I don't know. What, it's, then, it's one didn't of those. I tell you they were going to find him? Like He was yeah. He was going to go. The, he killed himself. He either that or he starved to death. I wonder how he killed himself. That's the thing. I'm like, how did how did it, how did he go through? I heard the reports how they found his body were just bad. How bad? Like reports like they found his body is like next to like a, a cave system or something like a cave, and they're like coyotes like going to town on that corpse's ass, like just ripping it, whatever was left of it. Are you sure? Mm-hmm. That's what people on the fucking people on Reddit are saying. It was pretty. Sh- it was pretty gruesome, man. They found his stuff there, and either I heard, oh, wow. I even heard there might be a confession video they recorded on a cell phone. No way. Mm-hmm. He, 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 I heard reports say that he gives the exact re- how he did it and why he did it. Where'd you get that from, though? Reddit. Oh, so it's not like a hundred percent. It's just whoa, whoa. It's what the streets are saying. Sp- speculation. Mm, the speculation. Maybe. Yeah, it depends on you. Yeah, kind of speculation though, but. That guy, I admit it, that guy's life did a whole, like, he was on a road trip with the chick that pissed him off, that they were about to get married, and he just decides, you know what, I'm just going to grab a rope, I'm going to grab this chick, lure her to some park in Wyoming, and I'm just going to fucking just wow. end but, it. But you know what's sad, though? I'm just going to say, there's many stories like that that doesn't get the light like this one did, and I that, that's, the, that's a disturbing one. What do you mean? How many stories aren't like that where people have disappeared and no one, you know, their boyfriend or they've been killed by this? But the, 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 there's no, there's no uh, social media. There's no, no one. A lot of people aren't aren't sharing it. And then are this you, one did uh, get us. Are you mind. saying this racial biases on, underneath of this? There's a possibility because there's a story like that that happened in Florida. This girl basically. The parents knew who killed the the daughter because the last person seeing him was the maintenance guy from the hotel, mm-hmm. and they're spying on him. And he comes out of a vehicle with the girl's blanket, mm. and this is weeks. That she, this is already days after she's been missing. You know, I it, it was on Facebook. I I shared it. I didn't I even it. hear that. Yeah, but it was almost the same thing. She she was she was found. You know, uh, maybe a week later, a few days later, they found her. She had been tied up. And yeah, and it was what bad. What happened in Florida? Did yeah. they find her in a swamp? Or? Guess what? He also ended up killing himself. Mm, they found his the car got to at a lodge, uh, a few hundred, a few miles. Uh, I don't know if hundred miles away or like the same place, but just on the other side of town. Mm-hmm. And they went into a room, and he had hung himself. I think he hung himself. I didn't even hear that story. I mean, I've never, I haven't even seen it on Instagram yeah. or anything like that. And there's that. many stories like that, even just here in California, where you see a lot of people putting up. Uh, missing person from like to a month ago, and I'm just like, why aren't these also getting uh, the the spotlight? I'm just, I'm not saying it's racial, but I'm saying it, it it is sad. But there's others like it. Like, let's not just concentrate on one. Like, there's there's many that mm-hmm. are just happening recently. That's true. I feel this should all should should be getting the same type of uh support and uh and um uh well, what's that word? Not not spotlight, but same type of yeah, uh, like exposure. exposure. Yeah, exposure. Yeah. So for me, I'm just like, I don't know, like it is sad, but I'm like, there's many others like that. So let's not just concentrate on one. Let's go to the next one. Like, let's put resources. Which is, which to is that. the saddest one that you've heard? 
Ah, oh, man, the saddest one. Um, let me see. There's a, there's a few. Oh man. Because that that whole know. Gabby, the girl who passed away, and then her her boyfriend who was found dead and being eaten by coyotes. Um, that thing was all over the news and stuff. Mm-hmm. Well, did you I s- heard they're even working already on the script for that movie. Oh wow! Mm-hmm. But did you see that on one? Lifetime? But did I see? Did you see? I think I sent you on Instagram mm-hmm. about that uh, Texas nurse or Arizona nurse that had oh. killed four people. So I have a question. He killed four people. So what's the limit before you become officially a serial killer? Before he gets a I name? think it's just two. Like after the- two, you're already a serial killer. Really? Yeah. I don't mm-hmm. think it's a big number. It's like after you do two, and they're like almost that similar. guy's a piece of shit. He was a uh, he was a nurse. He was a nurse that was injecting air. Into all, all these patients that had uh, some sort of heart surgery. Oh, and that kills them instantly, huh? Uh, it created complications because it went to their brain, so it created complications, and they died from the complications. And that also also makes you want to think, like past the, the last like eighty years of people who've died in hospitals or of a doctor. How many times? Has how it many been? really died because of their? complications it, it, exactly. or surgeries it could have been hidden how Who do we knows? know the serial killers are really active right now as we speak exactly man it's crazy now that's that's that makes you want to think man oh dude what's even crazy i know this i know this one uh, uh this one lady she her husband uh sister passed away about 20 30 years ago mm-hmm. she was killed Mm-hmm. Was she? Oh, she was really killed. Yeah, she didn't this run away. Is, this is a forensic files mm. because years later they got DNA. Did it? Did it? They they sent him a letter. They one of the attorneys asked to meet to meet with them and let them know like, hey, we found the ones who we found the person who did it. Really? Yeah. Who was it? It was a guy who died of cancer about like uh, seven years, eight years ago. Damn, that's fucked up, man. And all because I think his grandson did a little uh um. Uh, 23 and me because they didn't have his d- DNA but they put the DNA from the crime scene into a database so that is, is refreshing it every so like every few months it, it goes through another search like to see if there's a match where well, they found a partial match they went to him yeah and he still had oh. a toothbrush a toothbrush that his I think it was either his dad or his grandpa had still used that still had his DNA boom it was a match and wow. he was responsible for, I believe, another attempted murder. But they couldn't get him because he never... Remember, you, the, the only way the DNA database works is if your DNA is already in the database. Yeah, yeah. You know, just because you go to the hospital doesn't really mean your da- your data is your, your No, usually people, there. when they get arrested, usually everyone gets arrested. Arrested, gets that, yeah. their DNA starts is put in this database. Mm-hmm. And that is how, uh, is how they kind of figured because they had got a partial match through the 23 and me that's a really crazy way to get like find out that like one of your relatives like killed someone yeah when you're getting a letter uh, remember that's one of your ca- relatives was the freaking the what's it called the hillside ransacker and remember that's or, how i got the golden state killer or the golden state killer or the green river killer because it was one of his uh his his uh i think either daughter granddaughter that did that and that gave them the partial DNA and then they just followed the trail till they got to one person and asked for the DNA. I just understand how some people can get like off by just trying like to hurt people. That's just I don't know. I don't understand. Maybe I it's just because they have like thing. mental problems, huh? Severe. Ma- I won't say mental problems. It's probably others. But look at John Wayne Gacy. He was like a fucking like, clown. There's, there's he a was few kidnapping. People, there's a few people I know that have done some shit in the past. You know, they've, you know, stabbed somebody or this, but... Stolen from 99 Cent Store. If you talk yeah. to them now, they will they talk to it as if, like, that person, I don't know who, that person that did it. like. The but one, how do we know that they're really that person? They're just showing you a persona, like, oh, I feel changed, but I'm not. Cause like, been, I want to go, they I want to grab a bat and... They and, haven't drank or done any type of drug in, any, in 20 years. They have not touched a single drop of alcohol. Wow. Okay. And they were a drug user, so they okay, haven't. They've been sober for right such there. a long time to the point where it's like, and also just seeing them, like when you see, when you when you see him, you kind of you kind of get the sense, like, okay, this is not the he's not bullshitting me, like he's legit telling me, like this is what he used to do, and now it's like just different. Okay, then you know on that you gotta you know you gotta and look at the, that person uh, may or may not be a guest on the podcast soon. Wow, we should make it you know sign a full disclosure, you know. Well, of course. Yeah, yeah. 
You know what's crazy? How people have been just sending you messages about this Lenny story. Oh, update. Yes, yes. Update, update, update on Lenny. Uh, Randy's uh, Instagram, he's been just getting bombarded with questions about if is it, is it a Lenny from Fresno or a Lenny from Bakersfield. Because I guess a lot of people know or somebody Lenny like from Lenny. from Oceanside. You know, it's not your cousin Lenny, Lenny who's a transgender. It's, it's not your gay cousin, Lanny. Well, who... we, well, we recently spoke to someone who gave us an update in the story. We're not going to add to the story. No, we can Because the, the story is much gruesome than we <laughs> thought it was. Like, uh, you know, we said the, the story, and it, it, it was bad. But let's just say through other We accounts, gave you the Disney. Hold on. The <laughs> through, Disney version, and not, not through, the Netflix And one. not through just one person. This is already people that mm-hmm. have already confirmed the same thing. They all told me the same thing. And mm-hmm. let's just say... It is much worse than what we said. We thought that was bad. But to be... It was way but worse. But to be fair, let's just... We're just going to Let's stick. just be fair that we're not going to bring those that one up. No, 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 no. no, no. Way, we already said that. that story and we're going to... We signed a disclosure. We we're can't gonna we let, We're going to let that story right out. Because we got messages if there was a, a, a Lenny that works at the a PM in North Hollywood. No, it's not that Lenny. We got a credible report that he's most likely probably living in the Midwest. Kind of so like... Not the, living in California no, or someplace... He's not no. a, not Lenny from Arizona, not a Lenny mm-hmm, from mm-hmm. Texas, Florida, San Francisco, San Diego. Yeah, no, even, no, no. A Lenny that you met I don't think in even, I don't even think ever came down here, but he's not living in no area here. And can we also... Lenny is not his real name. No. That's a, that's a that's pseudo name we, came, we gave, him. gave him. Yeah, because we couldn't want him to give him his real name for yeah. legal reasons, you know. We signed a disclosure, mm-hmm. too. We can't disclose Legal Zoom. Yeah. Can, legal Zoom. Yeah. Mm-hmm, dot com. You know, remember we signed that paper where mm-hmm. if we actually said the name, so, we're liable. Yeah, so that yeah. story is that we want to just, you know... Put that, you know, those uh, those lingering questions of a Lenny. Yeah. Lenny and that faithful day. Faithful night. Night. Yeah. At a park. But, mm. you know, we just, you know, hopefully that Lenny has moved on from whatever, from the interest, interesting circumstances to him going on the road again. Departing. Mm-hmm. Departing from, to uh, different lands. From Oregon forever. Mm-hmm. Never so, to come back. Never to come back. We we wish you a full recovery of all your past traumas, and you know <laughs> I hope you're living great. But that that really that Lenny story really um uh, it caught on maybe because there's a bunch of people named Lenny's or something. It did, but it, it it's also a true story. But it's also a story just to you know be aware of your surroundings and the people mm-hmm. you are with. Mm-hmm. The you dangers, know. you know. Exactly. Like, Stranger danger. We people, all got we got all taught that when we were in elementary. Like right here. If you're around people that if they see you making out with um let's just if you're straight and you don't you, you don't bat the other way, you don't pitch the other way, and your friends see you you know, with someone who is uh same sex as you but is dressed as a uh, female, you know, mm. I'm gonna be honest, those aren't your friends. Because mm-hmm. your actual friend will be like, "Yo, bro, uh, that's not a, that's that's not a." Yeah, um, a real friend would go up to that. Sh- 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 him and go, not today. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, we'll go up to person and say, "No, man, you're not doing that to my friend. Mm-hmm. Not now. Not ever. Not ever. Stay away." Yeah. Because mm-hmm. I'm gonna be honest, uh, uh, there are stories that I that I've been told from mul- multiple people that have uh, you know traveled the world, have gone to Tijuana and the Seven Seas, all, all types of uh, parts of Mexico, mm-hmm. uh, gone to Vegas multiple times, and uh, let's just say gone to Baton Rouge. A lot of their uh, experiences, you know, the, the, like here I'm gonna say one. Uh, there was this time where they it was at an area where it was like hookers, right? I, I, can we change the word hookers? Sex can we workers. Just call them- Independent contractors? I'm going to call them escorts. Independent contracting escorts? Just escorts. Okay. Okay, they're escorts, all right? And let's just say there's... Th- I'm just thinking, you know, well, I don't want to, like, sh- sh- do an umbrella term. Can I just finish the story? Can I finish the story? 
Yeah, yeah. Okay. Right. Yeah, if you Thank finish you. it, yeah, you can. You you have yeah, the microphone. Yeah, I'm trying to, but you like you keep this. You keep interrupting. I just don't like. I don't like offending people. Yeah, but you, you know, do it's this not. Every, it's you not. Do this every it's time. It's not our job to judge their line of work. I'm just trying to say that. That's it. That's it. Go. I'm gonna let you know. Corporate wants you out. I don't have a contract, so <laughs> continue your your, no, your but story. Yeah, so uh, it was three chicks, mm-hmm. two very beautiful ones, and then the third was just from. The reports that multiple people told me that that just third one wreck. was just hot. a train wreck. No, it was hot, hotter than the other two. Like just you know, amazing. And let's just say, yeah, let's go. You know, and you know, the room was dark. They didn't want to. Uh, 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 sh- uh, oh, now, huh? <laughs> should I say? Okay, whatever you know. It. Yeah, is that, sure. is that appropriate? Yeah, you can say it. Yeah. I get no. Just say shim. 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 Okay, shim. This person was already kind of drunk too. Mm. You know, shim took them to an apartment in a little place where they can, you know, you know, mm-hmm. get it, get it busy. You know, mm-hmm. sexy time. Mm-hmm. So uh, they start to get it on. You know, he finishes, and let you know. Next, you know, shim pulls out a a, a, a knife or a gun and says. You know, automatically goes from like a soft voice to like a, oh, it's my turn. And damn. you know, what what are you gonna do at that? At, you know, if someone pulls out a gun on you and says like, you know, you already paid them for sex too, but I guess this was a, a reverse. You know, it was it go it, it was a, a both it was a both ways. You know, so so the person who pulled out went both ways. Went both ways, but the situation also went both ways. Yeah. Well, so. You know, in, in in that decision, what would you do? I would not put myself in that situation. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't. Ever since that story, it's like makes you want to be careful anywhere. Yeah, you very know? careful. So that happens, and I'm just gonna say, it, he ended up getting fucked. Oh. He got fucked, and from what I hear, he had a shim had a big, pretty pretty big piece. You know, it wasn't. It wasn't like he basically it wasn't like broke uh, back mountain his ass. It wasn't like Chow from Hangover type. Mm. It wasn't that. It was a big piece, and let's Jeez. just say no Vaseline. <sighs> so, and this is a true story. I've been told this story from multiple sources, and they've told me the same thing. And not only that, I've heard it in multiple places where it's happened. You know, if you Man, if you that's... mingle with the uh, with some of the locals, some someone will tell you like, "Hey, avoid that area over there. Do not go over there." In mm. the majority of the time, I'm gonna say it. Locals, you guys got tourists, people who are visiting. Pay attention to what the locals tell you, because a lot of them mm-hmm. they're really trying to you know look out for you, mm-hmm. even if you think they're not. They're, they 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 are. They mm-hmm. are. Let's just let's just be real. Fuck, that's 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 so fucked up. Poor guy, man. Yeah, it was uh, it was bad. That sounds like he's probably yeah. in therapy after that. Like, and that person, uh, Shim, is uh, still in business till this day. Still just there, freaking pillaging, huh? Bro, and from what I, from what from what I hear, Shim got some work done and looks even twice as better. Damn, and t- twice more real. That guy's gonna go to some like. He's gonna have nightmares for the rest of his life. Yeah. Uh, how can he like not notice that? Because sometimes I think he, he was just too drunk because he had oh, been drinking. Yeah. He had been drinking. There we go. Right there. That's the kicker. Right there. He was just fucking just, just too drunk, man. Because there was, tell there was the, this other uh, his radar was there, just shut down. Because there was another another report where somebody went there for that, but they were sober. Mm-hmm. So right when they were gonna get it in, they kind of reached down down there and they felt something bigger than a three iron. And mm-hmm. they're like, nope, I'm gone. Mm-hmm. Wow. That's a fucked up story, but there's some lessons in stories there's like there's that. Lessons, yes, yes, yes. I always I say there's six billion people in this world with six billion different stories. But yeah. that's one fucked up story, man. One fucked up story, man. I'm telling you. It's fucked. What happened? Did that guy straight up hightail it? Did he, you know. Yeah, he say- never went back again. He still goes back to like to visit because his family lives there. Jeez. But let's just say that he doesn't go to that area anymore. Like oh, it's like, man. Nah, I'm cool. His Thanksgiving and like holidays yeah. fa- family get together is going to be really, really rough. 
Like bad, huh? <sighs> From what I hear, he still has some nightmares. Well, of course. Freaking over there, freaking the freaking Stranger Things creature comes out and does that to him? Exactly. That's... Exactly. What is it, Demogorgon? That's the... I know. It, and his it, friends couldn't hard. stop him, that situation? No, uh, he left. Oh, okay. But he didn't tell him where he was going. He's like, hey, I'm going to go to the bathroom real quick, and then ended up going... He left the safety from the pack, huh? He left the safety, but he didn't tell nobody he was going with her. Because even everybody said, hey, be careful. with, Don't go over there. But he didn't listen because he was already drunk, so he just wanted to get laid. I'm going to tell that he person who's doing that. I don't know who you are or where you're from, <laughs> but one day, motherfucker, you're going to get it. Dude, I can't... That's 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 a street terrorist. <laughs> that's a street terrorist right there. Yeah. Going Dude, around just nice rain to like put a little booby trap waiting for someone to fall in there mm-hmm. and just get, you know, destroyed. All right, but I also want to do something, uh, you, know, you know, that's a negative story. I want to do something. I want to flip the script on this. And let's do something positive. Like let's a good like story? A good like story. A- Not a good story, but you know what? Let's give our listeners and viewers some good information, mm. you know, because... We've been fasting. The mm-hmm. other day, I did a 40-hour fast. 40 hours? That's 40 a lot. Hours. I did 40 hours. You know. How'd you feel? It, it was getting a little rocky at the 30-hour one. Really? Yeah. But I got some uh, fast pills mm-hmm. that just have like just a few vitamins. to. Oh, it's just good that's cheating. Thing. You can't yeah. take vitamins. Actually, no, you can. Really? Because you have to understand, your body still needs certain vitamins to still function. So if you don't give your body certain vitamins, you can actually get closer to almost dying. Because you're neglecting certain vitamins your body needs. Actually, I because this is just like yeah. this is like small things, just like calcium, just oh, okay. B12, just stuff like that to make sure your body still goes. Mm-hmm. It's like you know if you get sea salt or like pink salt or sea salt, mm-hmm. that doesn't have iod- uh, iodine or something mm-hmm. like that. You know, as regular salt. Yeah. So let's just say if you just stop taking regular salt in to- in, in in general, you can actually go blind because there's something that, that there's a mineral they add into the into regular salt. That it's a mineral for your eyes. Mm-hmm. So I have a question: Did fasting help you with your? Because I've noticed when I was fasting, I don't like your mind doesn't think of a lot of bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Like I feel when you're well, uh, in in a fasted state. I'm gonna be honest. I'm more laser focused. There we go. Let's say that. Like, like my focus is just like there. Like a lot of things don't go through your mind. Yeah. Like you just right there. But I, I don't think I'm gonna do another forty hour fast for a while. Why I'm, only gonna, I'm only going to stick to a 24 because I was doing I was doing some more research on there like the, the 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 longer ones like if you go past 48 hours like you really don't want to do that so many times so often no you want no. that's like a you, once in a while thing one, to do. yeah but yeah. they're like the one you can do more continuously is anywhere between 24 hours and a 48 hour oh that's not bad so I'm thinking 48 about, hours pretty good Two I'm, days thinking, not I'm bad. thinking of doing a 24 hour once a week Sunday like to Monday on, on Sundays Sunday to Monday that's I'll a good eat one. early morning, Sunday, like not like eight or nine. That'll be my only meal. And then I won't eat till the next day, Monday at like 12. Mormons fast a lot. You know, is that on Sundays? Yeah. So I I'm guess, probably going to you know. do that. And uh, this is something I feel like our listeners should should definitely try. Like those, if, they, if you guys are struggling to lose weight or you want. I think or, for you know, honestly, you're, I, think, you're, I think fasting is good for anyone who has basically like exa- like a little bit of anxiety. Because, you know, your mind starts racing, things like that. Oh, of course. When you're a little bit more, when you're fasting, your mind is like, when your problem comes up, you're like, okay, I'll just have to do that. And your mind doesn't really. Yeah. But I would say with the fasting, it's for those who are maybe stuck in a plateau, who can't lose weight, who they've tried certain diets. Mm-hmm. Because the way I, the way I like. You tried hydroxy cut and didn't work. Yeah. The way I like to, to, to basically put it into terms is mm-hmm. think of the fasting as a reset button for your body. Mm-hmm. Your body's resetting. It's going all its hormones all the fat all the sugar it's all being at a balanced state Mm -hmm. you know and especially it's like reprogramming itself yeah and especially for those that you want to do keto if you do a fast your body's gonna get into keto faster because the moment you go 30 hours your body's gonna be like hey it's because you know i i tell this everybody's like we don't control our bodies we just control our movements but you don't control what your body does Mm -hmm. you know so at the moment you do that your body's gonna be like hey uh we haven't had food in about a whole day and hey, now your body's a porta potty. Your, your body's gonna be like, hey, yeah, feel uh, like shit. Porta potty. Yep. Body's gonna be like, hey, we got some fat. Let's kind of get some of this in there. See, mm-hmm. let's get a little bit. So if you do 30, 35 hours, next you know, by the end of the thirty-five hour fast, 
you don't, I would say don't have carbs or sugar after the fast. Go for a protein shake. Go for a, why, why not sugar? Go for a fat. Why because of, then you're going to trigger your insulin. Oh, so okay. if you do the fat and you eat some egg or uh, uh, some cheese or something with fat, a high fat content, mm-hmm. you can get your body into ketosis faster to keto. So it'll start running more. It'll oh, okay. Get used to running on fat more than uh, yeah than sugar and carbs. Mm-hmm. You know, because especially that was another thing that I was doing on research where they were like, after the after you do the fast, don't eat so much food. Introduce it little by little because if you do too much, you'll get the runs. Mm-hmm. If you overload your body, your body's gonna be like, uh, it's gonna Can't give you the that. shits. Mm-hmm. You know, they say usually you got the rolling brownouts. Like, do some almonds. A little bit of cheese or like some with. Well, I prefer what about like keto bread. Yeah, but mm. I, like I would prefer some with fat, just because I'm like I'm trying to get my body to start running, to use up the fat that I already got, because I got quite a bit of excess. You know, it's I got I got storage. Yeah, you know yeah. I got depleted storage. Look yeah, this, uh, maybe you know? it's just it's just you know how walruses store for. for... <sighs> Shut the fuck up, bro. Dude, like, can you let me finish the story? I'm not talking about you. <laughs> really? Literally. But you say walruses that are. I'm trying to give you an example mm-hmm. about the animal kingdom, how mm-hmm. they deal when, you know, when times get colder and they store fat and then like when mm-hmm. spring comes, walruses also and freaking hippos <laughs> and maybe, um, what's it called? Like those one thing, what's it called? Those, um, manatees, narwhals that live in the Arctic, like they store their fat. And then like only in a certain time of the season, will they start releasing a certain amount of it to keep them alive? That's all I was, I was going to say. Mm-hmm. But you get all offended when I mention a walrus. Yeah. I think I'm, I'm going to mention you. I'm not. I'm trying to put the, like, you know, about examples that <laughs> happen in nature. All Bro. right? Jeez, Rand. Such a lying sack of shit. You, you know get you so, to When you get so walrus. offensive, you, you run like five miles like in, so? in 90 minutes. So you're not really fat. Wait. Hold on. Hold on. Hmm. I don't run five miles in 90 minutes. You run like five miles in like an hour. That's better, but not 90 minutes. Yeah, you're not fat. You may be husky or freaking. That's about it, but you're not. I, just don't, I don't want to stand you. It sounds like you want to. I mentioned an, a freaking example like in the, the animal kingdom. Like you get all mad. Not cool, Randy. I'm not talking about you, right? Uh-huh. The world doesn't evolve around you, all right? It yeah, doesn't. But no, I know you so well. You love to throw small jabs in there. I was just saying about about the animal kingdom, but finish your story, Randy. Thank you for interrupting, cause like I'm trying to remember. I don't even remember where the fuck where the story was. Oh, about keto and then you started. You started oh, using when it. I was going, yeah, 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 cause I was, I did more research on it. You know, like yeah, if you do the fast, if you do a fast, and your body's gonna get into ketosis faster, mm-hmm. you'll start releasing ketones faster, just because. Remember, you're not eating for 24 hours, so mm-hmm. your body at that moment after 24 hours of no food is gonna be like, hey, uh. What's going on? Let's uh, yeah. let's get use let's use some of this fat on here. Mm-hmm. I mean, this guy has plenty of it. Mm-hmm. He's fucking, he has like at least forty pounds of it. Mm-hmm. You know, I don't think you have forty. Oh wait, you're talking. Oh, should we talk about someone else? Oh, sorry, Randy. <laughs> joking, I'm fucking with you, Randy. <laughs> no, but that's pretty. That's pretty cool though. So yeah. So I'm like, uh, it's, it's something I would definitely recommend to. I some think about of fasting. What sucks is that when you start losing, like when your sugar levels, like you can feel it when you're like, you get a little. You notice when you're fasting, you get a little drowsy sometimes. Does that happen to you? Mm, is no. it your sugar levels? That's why I drink coffee or some tea. I drink coffee, but no creamer though. But I or or I'll do the 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 key the the fasting pills. Mm. I like those. Because they give you, like, they have, like, caffeine in them, so they give you a little thing, and you feel more focused. But there's no sugar in them, right? No. Oh, okay. It's, oh, yeah, it you just, can use them, then. It's really just... Mi- I just heard you just really can't... Just minerals. I just heard you just can't take any kind of sugar. Like, you can do a lemon with water. That's pretty good. No, I can't I just do water. No. But I would say, if you if you do the fasting, make sure you have a gallon of water. Legit. Like, these past days that I, that I fasted, I legit went through three gallons of water. That's a lot. Of I water. was so fucking thirsty. I and every time I drink water, I, I would feel full. So mm-hmm. it really take the hunger away. Like right that, now, is, I'm like, legi- but I'm you like, only fasted for a day, right? Like right that's now, that's a lot of. You drink three gallons of water after, a day. That's a lot of water. Nah, that's gonna it be was over, for the over the two day. Oh, period. two days. Okay. You know, now right now, I'm literally drinking one to like two gallons of water. 
Don't you think it's too much water? Doesn't your body retain a lot of that water or not? No, I just pee it out. You know how many times I pee when I drink a lot of water? I drink, I piss at least 15 to 27 times. And I, I don't know why you sit on the toilet when you go take a take a piss. <laughs> I'm just joking. <laughs> I'm fucking with you. Only sometimes. <laughs> it's like that movie when that guy's in jail. Go to the bathroom, but sit down. <laughs> yeah. Only sometimes. Like, you ever hold your piss in so bad to the point where... You try to piss and it doesn't want to come out. Yeah, I know. I got that that brief second. I got I got it from a trucker where he's like, if you ever have to take a piss and you can't sit down and let gravity take its course. (laughs) That's good advice. That's good. Guess what? I've tried it a few times and it actually works. I was at a what a gas station like a week ago, and they were selling these stickers called Lot Lizards. I don't know what they. Yeah, there's like there's like like, you know you you know the trucker stand. At the Loves or the, you know, mm. the trucker when they all, you know, get their stuff. They had a, a bunch of, like, uh, stickers, mm-hmm. like, like uh, don't take my guns away. Yeah. Uh, freaking uh, uh, lot lizard free. And there's one, only lot lizards sit in my semi truck. And, like, like what does, are those, like, what the fuck's a lot lizard? I have no idea. Yeah, that's what I was wondering, too. Huh. Until I Googled it, and then I figured out what a lot lizard was. What does it mean? Lot lizards are basically women that are private contractors that hang around trucker lots. So you mean escorts? I don't like using the term escorts because I it just doesn't it doesn't sound it doesn't sound business like. Yes, it does. Private contractor does, but apparently that's what it was. It huh. was like that, and they what like they. The they they like yeah. they like just kick it around big old truck stops, you know. And truckers are always on the road again, and then you know, psh, there might be a lot lizard, and they go hunting. So that's what it was. Oh wow, man, that is I never so, fucking knew. Yeah, that go lizard. if you're on the on like go to those uh tr- uh, want those gas stations with the big old, with the truckers all go there, mm-hmm. like loves and the all the I don't know what those mm-hmm. are called, and go to the stickers. You sign up, you see stickers about lot lizards. Oh wow, yeah, so. Never knew. I think people should know that, that the dangers of stopping at those semi trucks, you know, keep your radar up, you know, because independent contractors are out there. Yeah, are out there. Yeah, they're out there. I don't want to use lot lizard. Yeah, it seems too dirty. It sounds it very sounds dirty. Like, it sounds dirty. It sounds very like dirty, like trashy, trashy, dirty, white trash, brown. No, trash. no, no, no. Let's not start putting colors on this trash. All right. Let's not. I'm not going down that route with you, Randy. They're just. Independent contractors, you know, yeah, it's, Bro, it's nice. We got to touch this. Mm. Dave Chappelle, new special, all this controversy. I don't know why people are so, con- con- have so much problem with him. I'm like, bro, it's comedy. Mm. My thing is this. I haven't seen it yet. It's true, but I'm going to say Did you see it already? All of it? Uh, I've seen parts. I've seen parts of it. I haven't seen, I've only seen half of it. Man, it's fucking hilarious, but really? he proves some good points again, you know, but I'm like, I don't know why people have such an uh, outcry when I'm like, dude, he's a comedian. He tells jokes. I'm like, the majority of you guys take a dick, which is a little bit harder and more painful. What the fuck are the words he's saying going to hurt you? It's but what exactly was the joke that got him like... It's got- the it's his whole special. Oh, the whole one. special. It's okay. everything. Because he just goes hard, bro. You know? And again, you know, he's part of the whole... Like, he agrees with the Me Too movement. But like he said in the last one, I feel, you know, their approach was wrong. They could have handled it different. Yeah, I think that. But yeah, I don't I think this should the be special yet. But I have seen about because, the controversy. Yeah, but my thing is, what 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 do you do? Huh? Like literally, he's not hurting you. He's only saying some words. But why are they? The, why are the ones that seem to get offended always want to be on the uh, on the uh, how can I say the victim side? Mm-hmm. You know. Yeah. They, 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 they always find themselves being the victim. But sometimes those same people are the oppressors. Like, they want to judge everybody for this because they're not like them. It's like, bro, just be cool. No one gives a fuck that that, that you want to be a dude. No one cares that you want to be a woman. In reality... Or a robot. Or a robot. Or both. Or you want to have 10 different genders in a bathroom, which I don't know how that's possible. You know, and, and, and it's funny because I'm just going to say this, you know. I lean more liberal, all right? 
Mm-hmm. But I've talked to a few, you know, I've seen a few things where, you know, they'll talk about science, you know, especially right now during COVID, which doesn't make sense mm-hmm. because they'll say, believe the science, believe the science, right? Mm-hmm. Doesn't the science also say there's only two genders? Mm-hmm. Doesn't the science also say that in order for a woman, for a man to be a real woman, it has to have the genitalia exactly like a woman? Mm, like, yes. I'm not going to say, like, if a man wants to be called a woman, I'm calling him a woman. All right, cool. Like, once you get your sex changed, cool. But don't say you're a real woman because there's some aspects you still don't have, no matter what operation you do. Mm-hmm. You can't bear children. That's true. You can't get pregnant. That's true. So I'm like, you know, uh, it, it's like, but I've noticed that, especially nowadays, people love to pick and choose what they use, but the same thing, they this, the, the same concept they try, they can use against them you know like going to this covid Mm -hmm. how many people didn't say oh no you know i don't trust the vaccine even though there's multiple doctors that actually do back the vaccine there's Mm -hmm. multiple doctors that don't yeah you know but you know they say oh i don't trust the science but yet you trust the science of people telling you that you have the antibody of it that doesn't make no sense i'm like uh, uh, but but you see what i mean yeah i know what you mean i know what you mean I'm the type of person where I believe this, but what both sides are telling me, like, hey, yeah, you get the antibody, mm-hmm. and also maybe it's not bad I get the vaccine. But I feel like too many people lean to one side and think like their side is right. I'm like, bro, if it, if it, when it comes to science, there's really no both sides are right and wrong. Like you can pick and choose. Mm-hmm. My thing is just having open, more of an open uh, discussion about it. Mm. That's why I feel like for me personally, like I, I feel like a lot of people don't ever understand me because the way I see the whole world and see everything is very different. You know? Yeah. Like where people see a car, I don't see a car. Okay. I got you. You see what I mean? Yeah. Where everybody just sees it as a whole where I'm, it's more like you can't really see everything as a whole because everything's different in its own situation. So you're cool with trans people because I know you have a couple co-workers that are trans. Oh, of course. It's cool. But you just don't like how they specific, like how they get specific treatment or what, like when it comes to that bathroom situation, like you want them to be. Okay. Like, okay, here's one. I had an issue with, well, I, I didn't have an issue with one. You with, want them to use a porta potty outside. No, right? no, no, no. It's more like this. Like, don't, don't try to change the way I am just to, for you to be comfortable. Okay. Like, mm-hmm. bro, just be comfortable being comfortable. Mm-hmm. You know, like That's if true. you don't like something, tell me. Like there was this one one time, we had there was a trans. I did work with a transgender. You know, yeah. I would call this person by their name that was Wait, given their at legal birth. name or their, their legal, new name. No, 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 their legal name. Okay. I guess this person didn't want to be called that. I didn't know that. Oh. Right. They put a complaint, huh? They put a complaint, but I'm all like, hold on, whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm a human being. I'm a man. I'm whatever it is. If I don't like something, I'm going to tell you. If you tell me something, I'm going to tell you to your face. Like, hey, can you like, not tell me that? Mm-hmm. You know, or tell me when I meet you. Hey, this is my real name, but can you please call me this? Because I'm in the process of yeah, this. Yeah, how the hell are you supposed to know that, that, that? Exactly my point. And I feel like that's going on a, a lot in the world where you're getting people that don't want to have that discussion or don't want to say what it is. So they just go behind your back and they try to make... Mm-hmm. fucking shit it's like bro tell me but also I'm also gonna say it this whole pronoun shit is fucking retarded cause I'm gonna tell you this I'm not gonna change my fucking English just because you wanna use a pronoun that in reality if we were to go to grammar school you're fucking wrong cause it doesn't make sense mm. it does not make sense you're not they you're not this you're one singular person so you don't believe people some people are binary fuck that binary like Demi shit like Lovato no yeah, no. I know what you mean. Bro, I... nobody fucking cares about what the fuck you identify, binary shit, but don't change our language. Don't try to change my English just to make you feel better, all mm-hmm. right? Because this is a two-way street, motherfuckers. This is a two-way so you street. Think, you think people like they're trans or or lizard people or like they just want to the whole world to just be... Com- Adjust to them to when it's like, bro, can... you got to meet halfways with everybody. Mm-hmm. So you would meet halfway with the trans, like, hey, I can call you this, and that's it. Like, I won't, I won't this. I'll call you by whatever your name you want me to call you, but I'm not gonna call you they or identify you as a they. No, you're either gonna be a he or a she, 
Or a shim? Or that if you want mm-hmm. me to be called shim. But if you tell me, hey, I'm in the process of getting the sex change, can you please just call me this? And then I'll ask and be like, can I call you bro? Mm-hmm. If they say, all right, cool, then I'm just going to call you bro. I won't even call you girl. I won't call you this. I'll call you bro. Do you think that people like that, like people are like when they come like that, what's it called? Like that rapper or Dave Chappelle when they, mm-hmm. they get a little controversy. Was it the baby? Yeah. Remember, yeah. You think like those people just they get because I don't think you can really blacklist Dave. You Chappelle. can't blacklist. The thing is though, they can't blacklist. I'm a, just gonna say they're sissy lalas. They're little. They're little crybabies. It's like, dude, like you have the point to your own point of views. They have theirs. Mm-hmm. They're not saying it to harm you directly. They're saying what they feel. Mm-hmm. They're saying their fucking opinion. If you want your opinion to be respected, you got to likewise do the same, even if you disagree with them. Mm-hmm. So you're basically preaching to meet you halfway. Not That's meet what me halfway, meet the world halfway. Meet the, my, not you, my bad. The meet the world halfway. Yeah, because the and world... you think that like, the people that are, that are freaking transgender don't like to meet people halfway, huh? They want to... They're aware of the, the highway. highway. Yeah, and I'm like, no. With me, you ain't going to get that. Mm. If you say... To identify you as a they or whatever you say, I'm like. What about binary people? They're nothing. They're not. Fuck that binary shit, dude. I think people just find a trans and they just jump on just to be fucking cool and hip, rather than not know, not rather than being themselves. Mm-hmm. There's one thing I've learned in this life: be your fucking self. So no if you had a coworker who identified as a lizard person, like a, what's it called, a reptilian, would you say, "I embrace that you're a reptilian," or you'd be like, "Dude." You're a human. Shut the fuck up. You're a human. Shut the fuck up. Okay, I get you. I mean, what happened if I? So if, what happened to that? Like, what happened to your coworker? When did she try like, uh, like, like put no, a harass, to, like a, no, a restraint yeah, order on it, you? I, I didn't let it bother me. No, but I was just like, bro, but like my mind was. Did just Shim like, give you like bad looks at thing uh, at at work? Would you give you like, you know, mm, like threaten you? No, nah, but it's just I didn't trust. Oh, okay. I didn't have that trust with them because I'm like, bro. You just like, store really? your food in you like know, the in the, the company. Mo- you, you just know, store the food in the company refrigerator, right? The moment you go behind and you want your soup, this this uh, somebody else to tell people what you want to be called. That I'm gonna be honest. If you want to be a man, you're gonna have to act like one, and that means, hey, can you please call me this? No one's gonna have a fucking problem. Hmm. I will not have a problem if someone says, hey, this is what they want, but can you please call me this? I prefer this. Cool. You're telling me as soon as I meet you. Cool. You think the same thing where ghosts with like little people? Possible. Because there's a lot of little people that don't want to be see, called midgets. They want to be called little people. But the whole identifying They don't want to be called hobbits yeah, either. But, just little people. <laughs> but the whole identifying thing, that's my issue. I don't mm. like this identify. I identify. I'm just like, what if I identify as a Cherokee and I want some money? Does that make me the right for that? Mm, well, maybe you do have some Native American because, you know, in no, no, but I'm talking about up here in America. Oh, up here, okay, I get you. What well, if mean. I say I'm Navajo? I identify with 40% Navajo. I want my money, give me some cash. Just yeah, if I had to pick an Indian, you'd be a Navajo, easy. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Yeah, I think so, but I know what you mean, though. I know what you mean. So for me, I'm just like, don't, don't identify, just be like, oh no, I'm just you know, I just want to be a woman. I feel you know I, how Barbie's gonna come out with trans transgender Barbie. So the, you you wouldn't you wouldn't agree, you're not cool with that shit. Like you think that's drawing the line. Like that's out there. Oh man, uh, I would to be honest, kind of yeah. So if you had the power to stop that that Barbie to coming out transgender Barbie, oh I I, you I would I, stop it. Oh no, I'm not wasting my time on that shit. No, 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 no. So you would be surprised if you could get a Barbie that's a. I won't be surprised. But my thing is, I don't think we should be uh, exposing our kids to that yet. Mm. I don't think it's, I mean, like, world, like our kids are getting more fucked up every fucking year. You want to throw that in there? Man. It's pretty. You, you want to throw that in there? You throw that to the kids? Oh, hell no. I, I, I'm not with it, man. I'm going to be honest. Mm. I'm not with that. My thing is, once you're 18, do whatever the fuck you want. Like on if that one cartoon were, show, cat dog. Hey, was it a cat or was it a dog? You forget. Or was it cat dog? Yeah, you forget. But people forget too a lot on how you feel. It has to do with your hormonal balance. So you think trans people have hormonal deficiencies, or it, it, if you think or about split it, split personality disorder. Remember, it's a possibility. Or maybe they're just hey, not who they are. Remember, it's a possibility. 
it is a big possibility. I'm just not going to put everybody together in one. Everyone's different. Mm. You know, your testosterone levels compared to mine are going to be different. That's true. Everyone's different. Your blood type is different from my blood type possibility. Mm -hmm. So in reality, everyone's different. You, I, I'm not going to put everyone together and say, oh, you guys have a, a hormonal disbalance. No. Mm. It, it's all based on a singular person. You like, I, I'll, I'm going to go individually. Mm -hmm. And that's where the like I told you, where everybody sees a car, I don't. Mm. I see. I go. I I I'm noticed with me. I'm more of a person that goes more into the finer details. I make up that. Like I can tell you this, you know, you can't just see the world is is killing bad or good. I think it's um depends how you do it though. Is it killing to save a family, to save a nation, a world? No, but see that that's my point. Yeah. It's too the gray many, spot. Too many people are going black and white. Yeah, there's, there's too they much gray. Yeah. No, no, there's not too much gray. They're going too much black and white. They don't understand that there's gray right in between there. Mm -hmm. Like a skunk or a badger. Yeah. A badger, black, white, exactly. and gray. Because yeah. if someone says, yeah, killing is bad, you should not kill. But then you say, what if they're trying to kill you or your family? Then would you kill them? Mm -hmm. The answer switches. That's so always got, I always area. find weird about Jehovah Witnesses. So they always have these loopholes. Yeah. Like, you can celebrate your birthday, but not on the day of your birthday. Like, you can't give someone blood because it's against a religion. Isn't that weird? Even though to save your own family. True. But see, that's that's a religion that, you know, I'm going to say too, that it's just very different from what I believe. You know, they believe in God, though, but also my belief is God gave hum humanity this, this ability to... to get smarter for a reason mm -hmm. nothing happens by accident that's true there's a reason god gives knowledge to a lot of these people to cure other people to help other people mm -hmm. you know so you know that's why when, when it comes to even medicine i'm like you believe in this but you're not taking the same medicine that god obviously gave the knowledge to somebody to be able to 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 to, to create that medicine you know so in reality it's like that's what i mean like i seem I see the world in much more complex than what everybody else sees. So that's why a lot of people don't understand me. Why don't they understand you, Randy? Because everything's complexity. It, everything's complex. You can tell me one thing. I'm going to find where it's where there's the gray area. I'm going to find the gray area. Hmm. So what's the gray area about? About what's it called? What's the gray area on the Black Lives Matter thing? for you the black lives matter because i know last year i mean when all that stuff was happening a year before you were rocking a couple black lives matter shirts I did not, and everything that's a lie but i always wondered like what's your th you were it's one a good, it's a good movement the black lives matter for what it entails is but also i'm also gonna say like if we go back into history the the black Lives matter only really uh uh it, it, it only really applies to the u.s mm. because the u.s has had the slavery had all this but if we go around the world in other parts there's other countries that had slaves but that they weren't necessarily black let's go to egypt who built the pyramids they were not they were not black people no well it was it was a mixture no well the How aliens about, were designed by extraterrestrials but given to <laughs> plants through the you know, to Jewish people. I know, but see, that's my point. Mm -hmm. let's, go, knows that. let's go to other parts where they had, you know, if you go to Africa themselves, they had each other as slaves. Let's go to Aztecs. Yeah, they had other, other tribes. Other tribes as slaves. So, so you're, you're anti-slaves. I'm anti-slaves. Okay. But see, that's where my point where I find the gray man where I'm like, okay, I believe the movement, but I'm like, I'm also not going to oh, be okay. like, this is a good one here. You guys are not yeah. innocent. It's like, it's what do you think about everywhere. people taking all these statues? Wait, of hold. like, of oh. like Christopher Columbus, wasn't it Junipero Sierra, known as the the father of California? Mm -hmm. What do you think about that? Because for me on that, I, I'm very, I'm all for taking down Civil War statues. Yeah, because I, they fucking what? lost. I hold on, hold up, hold up, hold up. They fucking lost. Accept it. They lost. I won't cool. say taking them down, but maybe put them in a museum. I'm where all people for, can learn. But here, I'm, I'm all for taking those statues, but not. You cannot judge that people. This is the 15, 1600s. Yeah. People did not know the world how it was. Yeah. They were just exploring. Okay. Hold up, hold up, hold up. But the exploring that they were doing, 
maybe kicked off a lot of things where a lot of people, a lot of indigenous people passed away. Of course. But you can't hate that the, that Christopher Columbus or other like people from Spain that went no. to Mexico. Dude, they were exploring, no, no, exploring. But, but I just thing. don't see how they get all offended for that. If, but, not, true. if it wasn't for that happening... A lot of people from Mexico wouldn't Mexico wouldn't be what it was today. No, not not even not, it's not even Mexico. So, that's I don't like how they re, want to rewrite no, no, stuff. But it's not even Mexico, man. You have to understand where we are is because of the past that we've had. Mm-hmm. So you erase all that, we may not even fucking be here. We may not even speak in English. Mm-hmm. We not be in the position that we are in now. We might be in a worse position. We might be in a better position. Mm-hmm. We might be. Eskimos. But the point is, we are here now because of those. Those actions, those events that happened. Yeah, but that's yeah, yeah. I understand that, but the you know, I don't get understand why would people want to because that one statue of Jun who Junep, Junepero Sierra mm-hmm. was vandalized by like a thing by Native American people. I understand why they wouldn't not like explore like that, and they treated them like shit and everything. Yeah. But you can't you can't hate on their their that they had a, like Christopher Columbus, all the explorers, Cortez, and all that. They had ambition to explore the world, like yeah. they had a. They did it themselves. It wasn't because they were like, oh, shoot, Indians are here. Oh, I'm going to sneeze on them and take a, to wipe out half of them. Like, mm, all that course. stuff happened, like, because they were all exploring. If, the if like, Native American cultures had sailboats and went to Europe instead, how would that came out, you know? That's why I'm, I don't, I'm not, I'm not, I don't think people should be writing, like, trying to take down those statues, like, Christopher Columbus and all these explorers that came from see, the Europe like I don't I'm not for that. I'm all for taking but, down civil war. On. I'm all for that because it proves lost. my point. The only way to get to that type of mentality, you have to understand the complexity. People don't understand the complexity of life, how it is. Mm-hmm. Like exactly. literally you have to understand everything must happen for a reason. Everything is I gonna think be you there. ask Christopher Columbus, everything. hey if you go to the new world you're gonna wipe out twenty million people. I don't think Christopher Columbus probably would have game. Yeah. I don't think but he would have. Here's even something crazier that I just heard about, and I'm gonna more do more research on. Christopher Columbus was not the first one here, neither was Cortez. Mm. Guess what artifacts were found in Canada not too long ago. Are you talking wait, what do you mean? Yeah. Vikings. Uh, yeah, uh, I, I admitted that they did probably colonize a little bit to the, the new, technically they did find the new 1, world. 1000 BC. Yeah, yeah, I give that, they probably said, but I don't think they came too far south to like that. But we don't, I don't know, know that, that yet. You have to understand, we don't nah, know. Nah, I don't know about that. Maybe. History, only, only what we uncover from the ground will tell us more. We honestly don't know. Mm-hmm. Because once you, once you're in an area, we, there's the explorer in all of us, like, what's over there? What's past that ridge? Mm-hmm. What's past that? So in reality, we don't fucking know how far they actually came down. That's true. That's a valid point. A valid I mean, point. if that was back in a thousand BC, bro, uh, the, oh, the book is open now. It's just like yeah, that's Pandora's box has been open. We just don't know what the fuck a, people were really a, doing back exactly. then. Exactly. But I just don't think you should be tearing down those statues, man. Even the Christopher no. Columbus and about those those Spanish wiped out a bunch of indigenous people. But you understand. We cannot judge how we look at the world. We saw the, we've seen the past. What happens in the past last five hundred years? They don't know what happened five hundred years from when they arrived from there. They don't know yeah. that they just showed up and did shit. You know exactly. But see, that's where the complexity comes. Where you got to find the gray area. You know, do the you like zone. do you like the life you live right now, or would you rather live in a time you don't know? Mm-hmm. Like, like here, for instance, let's let, let's let's look at World War Two. Let's look at World War Two. All right. Let's just say Japan never bombed the U.S. Yeah. Would the U.S. Be, had been in the war? Um, I think eventually it was an an eventuality. It didn't happen right away, but eventually it would have happened. But when would it would have have happened? Would Probably it be forty six, forty seven? But by that time, would Germany already have finished off Britain and Russia? To the point where it's only Japan and Germans versus the U.S.? No, but you want know to think eventually how the war was going, the Russians were going to beat the Germans. It was it was, it, it was an eventual what was going to happen. I don't know. It, because... it would have happened. Even if the Americans weren't going to get involved, eventually but the Russians would have it would have overtaken them. Eventually. It, 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 honestly. That's I, what I think. I think it would. It, it's possible, but at the same time, I don't. You know why? Mm. Imagine if... Germans would have defeated Britain, and now it just left 
Germans versus the Russians. Or imagine something else would have happened where they would have created a treaty. And guess what? By that time, U.S. is in. But now it's three versus one. Yeah, well, that's a, nobody that's, knows the history. Yeah, see, that's yeah, the complexity. I, I, I know what you mean. That's so true. the complexity of, you know, I'm just gonna say it's sad that so many people, so many lives were lost at Pearl Harbor, but how do we not know? But, but because how things played out was the best outcome for freedom to actually be without having uh, a person like Hitler to be into power for longer than he probably would have if mm. the U.S. was never bombed. Maybe instead of dying in '44. He would have died in 55 and done more Maybe harm. he died in 55. Yeah. Well, we exactly. don't know. But that's the point. But mm-hmm. we don't know because he was defeated. So he could have ran because he, he once you're defeated, what you do know, you Hitler do? was really big into he believed that he could that, that there was enough technology that people could time travel. Yeah. How do you know he really did? He killed himself. Exactly my point. How do you know he's not going to come back no, 100 but years see, later? But see, you're missing my fucking point, dude. It's not. I'm not going through the whole conspiracy. The point is, everything happened where it was for in order for him to disappear earlier, to not be into power for so long. For other people's lives can be saved. That is my point I'm trying to make. Like It's sad that Pearl Harbor did happen, but in reality, maybe that it had to happen for the best outcome. Yeah. That, that well, is yeah, my point. That's just Monday quarterbacking. That's what it is. What? Yeah, that's what it is. Yeah, well, of course it happened. It happened because it was meant to happen. That's why it happened. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, though, that's though it's sad. Well, but I, see, the I don't co- know what what, what what debate is in that. There's no debate in that. It happened how it's supposed to happen. Yeah, but if you look at other people's mentality, they'll be like, "Oh, it's sad that they. I wish they didn't happen. I mm-hmm. wish this." But see, you have to understand when you embrace life, you're gonna embrace life for the good and the bad and the worst. Because the worst has to happen in order for the best to happen. That's true. The bad had to happen in order for something good to happen out of it. Yeah, and that was the last World War, so, you know, it Ex- gave us like almost 100 years. You know, there's been skirmishes and stuff like that. Yeah, but, so yeah. that's why personally me, I feel like everything happened how it should. You know, it's sad, it but in reality, it may have been the best thing to happen in order for the U.S. to win. The U.S. and its allies to win. Because if have if would have been delayed two more years before the U.S. entered... We probably wouldn't be looking at the same history as it is now. Very, very different. Yeah, well, it takes this one one decision to change the course of history. So exactly, like maybe freaking n- never got the atom bomb. More people dying when they're trying to take over Japan. Maybe all this other stuff. Who fucking knows what could have happened? That's a that's a good way to end this one. Who knows? Exactly. That's the complexity, mm. and there's much more. I'm telling you. That's good. Yeah. All right, guys. Thank you all for listening. Welcome to another episode of what? Thank you for listening to another episode of Randy's Rants. Catch us on YouTube, uh, Randy's Rants, uh, Instagram, Randy Rants Podcast, um, Spotify, Castbox, oh, Randy's, everywhere. I mean, hey, he's, Randy's designed his first shirt, so it's gonna be good. And hats. All right. So, but thank y'all. Love you guys. Thank y'all for listening. Bye.